dividing decimals by powers of 10. We learned earlier that to multiply decimal numbers by powers of 10, we move the decimal point to the right as many places as that power. But what if we want to divide decimal numbers by powers of 10? For example, what is the result of dividing 12 and 5 tenths by 10 to the power 1? Let us look at the decimal number in a place value chart and carry out the division to observe what happens. A decimal number has a whole number part and a decimal part. So we will divide each by 10. We begin with the whole number part. The 1 is in the tens place. So it has a value of 10. And dividing 10 by 10 gives us 1. The 2 is in the ones place. So it has a value of 2. And dividing 2 by 10 gives us 2 tenths. Now for the decimal part. We have 5 in the tenths place. So it has a value of 5 tenths. And dividing 5 tenths by 10 gives us 5 hundredths. Now we add the resulting numbers together. We have one whole number, which is 1, and two decimal parts. 2 tenths and 5 hundredths. What is the resulting decimal number? We only have one whole number, which is 1. So we write 1 in the ones place. And we have two fractions. So we need a decimal part. We write a decimal point. 2 tenths is represented by the digit 2 in the tenths place, and 5 hundredths is represented by the digit 5 in the hundredths place. This is the resulting decimal, 1 and 25 hundredths. So what happens here? Remember that a digit in one place represents one-tenth as much as it represents in the place on its left. Dividing the value of a digit by 10 is the same as multiplying it by 1 tenth. If we look at the chart for both numbers, we can observe the following. The 1 in the original number moved from the tens place to the ones place because we divided its original value of 10 by 10 and got 1 and 2 moved from the ones place to the tenths place because we divided its original value of 2 by 10 and got 2 tenths while 5 moved from the tenths place to the hundredths place since we divided its original value of 5 tenths by 10 to get 5 hundredths. In other words, each digit moved one place to the right because it was multiplied by 1 tenth. Or we can view that simply as movement of the decimal point, one place to the left. 